Would you like to know how to connect with your higher self? Try this. Now remember, we trap certain aspects of our consciousness in these membrane-like energy packets. So sometimes we have a hard time breaking free. So if you get resistance from yourself, don't argue too much about it. Don't panic about it. Just realize you're probably pulsing your way through a kind of a membrane. So what we want to do to connect with your higher self is to take a few deep breaths and breathing is a really amazing way to help you. I don't mean just for staying alive. You can use your breath to truly puncture those membranes. So we're going to focus at the base of your spine and we're going to draw light up your spine to the top of your head and then back down. I want you to do that three or four or five times. your body and then I'd like you to call up that awareness of that part of you that knows everywhere you've ever been and everywhere you're going as a soul think of this as your higher self for me it means there's a subtle shift where I feel really huge way bigger than my physical is you might have a different experience but that's just an example Now the other suggestion I have is to reach up with your mind as a sculpting tool and shoot way out into the universe and then coming back down on a gold light, gold light, make this connection that goes right into the top of your head and have it run right through your body. and shoot down into the core of the earth. Now when it's in there, it suddenly turns around and comes shooting back up and it will run right through your spine and way out into the great central sun. And now sometimes when we feel like we're connected to the higher self, sit back and relax and experience it. Then you can start asking questions of it. Perhaps you want to say, what's my purpose? Or show me what job I should be doing. Or show me what Mary Lou meant when she said this or that. Show me. I love to pray that way. Show me then, I say. And very often your higher self will slowly but surely, and sometimes it might take a couple of days, deliver the response to your question. And the more you practice, the easier it is to make that clear rapport with your higher self and or your intuitive nature. Practice. One more thing is when you do the, the breathing up and down, you're going up one side of the spine and down the other. When you do the breathing, let yourself feel how parts of your body warm up. Parts of your body fill up with the prana, with the energy fields of an awakening you. Let yourself pay attention to those feelings. Now once again, we go back into the higher self. And you can feel it. And ask your higher self, are you there? Mine is laughing at me, it's teasing me, because very often they have quite a personality, the higher self, and it won't be the same as your personality, but this is an aspect of you that has known your entire soul's journey. So have fun with it, practice and practice, and remember, always feel where you're breathing, feel the breath going through. 
where your consciousness is reaching into a much bigger space, feel the presence of the much bigger space. Always pay attention to feeling where you're putting this energy. Have fun. It's fun.